Nathan, you've got your uh, nephew in camp with you today. Yeah, I've got my nephew-in-law. Uh, it's great to have him here. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a great talent, and um, it's good to have him represent, um, you know, Redfern and All Blacks. Were you proud to have him in your club this week? He's been at South, um, learning some tips off the boys. Yeah, it's been a great experience for him. Um, you know, I was very happy to have him in the club. Um, you know, uh, hopefully, he got a lot out of um, the week. You know, training with us, and um, you know, it's a good experience for him, and hopefully, it carries on into the game next week. You've had the First Nations go and as guys come in last night to um, the Indigenous camp. What are some of the things that you went through with them? Um, you know, we just spoke, um, you know, a bit about you know opening up with some of the boys' opinions and um, about the game, and you know, we had um, a couple of the boys, you know, um, you know, we was talking about dancing yesterday, you know, the the war cry dance that we've done, and you know, we, we want to try and cement our own war cry dance. So, you know, there's some of the things that we spoke about, and. You know, it's, it's just great to have the boys around. What sort of difference do you think this sort of camp and this sort of experience is going to have on young guys like that? Um, you know, a lot of young um, young blokes, um, you know, opened up with their opinions, and that's um, that, that's something that we want to see more of. You know, the young blokes not not being um, shame, you know, coming forward and expressing what they wanted to see in the game, and you know, it's, um, hopefully we can get a lot more of that coming out. What was some of the biggest things that um, you guys as NRL players have taken out of this camp? You know, a lot of people question, oh, what, what does the camp actually do for the players? Does it make you a better player? It certainly does, you know, it brings us together. Um, you know, a lot of us, you know, we get together and, you know, we, we're talking about doing war cry dances, um, you know, getting our own one and, you know, hopefully getting cementing a jumper one day. And, um, you know, hopefully a lot of boys take, take it back to their clubs and, you know, give a lot of positive feedback about w what we've done this week and, because I know, um, I know a lot of the boys have got a lot out of this weekend, so hopefully, you know, the boys benefit from it, from it and, um, you know, get back with a positive vibe. Greg Inglis spoke a lot about um, being comfortable in your own skin. Is that something that this camp helps with? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, if the boys are comfortable with who they are and, and know where they come from, you know, um, they're going to feel a lot comfortable with themselves. So, um, Greg made it clear, you know, if, you know, with the boys you know, being comfortable in their own skin, if, if you're not comfortable in your own skin, how are you going to be confident and, you know, know, know where you come from? So, you know, that's, that's a big issue with us, you know, finding out where you come from and know who you are and then, you know, you can be comfortable in your own skin. Camp's closing up today and, and now there's a week to go until the um, Knights take on the First Nations Goanners. How excited are you to see Kareel out there on the field? I'm um, very excited. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame that you know, none of the NRL boys could, uh, you know, take part in the game or watch the game, um, watch the boys play. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be, um, you know, it's great for me to watch, see him play there. Um, um, hopefully I'll get the chance to watch him on TV. Uh, hopefully someone plays it and, you know, get a chance to watch the boys. And, you know, it's going to be a great experience for the boys playing together. And, you know, hopefully, um, you know, someone makes it out of the squad.